And hello everybody, welcome to the Mango Grove, my name is Krisha, and this is today's Cardano analysis video. We will be going over ARDA USDT as well as ARDA BTC, and uh, by the way, okay, for the, for the duration of this video, I will be pronouncing it as ARDA, okay, I don't care what you think, if you do not like it, you can, well, take this opportunity to just find another video cool all right so now let's get onto that mango dashboard first and see what the dashboard is telling us um for auto usdt what is that trend telling us okay so i'm actually gonna filter it out cool auto usdt guys flipped short on the dashboard this short signal came in two days ago okay and since then if you took that short signal you are actually down 3.27 percent so um okay that's interesting now i know that ada just uh, in the past couple of hours i do believe there was a big buy-in that came in perhaps this pump was due to that buy-in i noticed that uh, my whale sniper gave me alerts on a lot of um, high mcap coins so it's a very interesting picture right now that's being printed for many of the altcoins but um, that's for auto usdt auto bdc guys is ultra short this short signal came in six days ago if you caught this signal you are currently up 1.65 percent okay so now let's get on to that chart and see well what the chart is telling us now we're actually going to start off with auto usdt okay i'm currently on that weekly time frame we're pretty much going to stick to our drill okay put in those high level horizontals we got uh, one point of resistance right here at around 0 0.097 cents okay there's another point right here the point that we just got rejected off of in the past couple of weeks this one is at uh, point basically nine cents okay and so let's mark a couple of support regions okay there's one right here at around six cents and perhaps one more right around here this one is at five cents cool and um as you can see i mean we got up to this point of resistance right here at around nine cents we got rejected off of it and it appears right now just by looking at the weekly horizontals and the way price is sort of ranging between it it appears that um you know autumn may likely come down to six cents however however guys um i'll tell you something I do believe that on the lower time frames there is a bullish picture okay so this may very well have continuation to the upside but uh, right now this is just analysis based on our high level horizontals okay now there are a couple of things to note here is that um i think sean and i went over this this little pattern that is playing out on auto usdt right now and this this is that um w like formation or the double bottom whatever the hell you want to call it okay i think it's best viewed on the monthly time frame now the thing is that we have not got up to the neckline just yet i am looking at this region right here this 0 0.097 cent region as the neckline okay i'm going to make that a different color actually uh, perhaps a yellow should do okay now that is the neckline and we could still very well make our way up there but it is the break of that region that will really confirm this pattern this is not a double bottom until we have that break okay now just for um just to see what the measured move will add up to okay if this does have a break if we do see a break of that neckline um this would take auto usdt all the way up to 16 cents 16 17 cents give or take okay that is all the way up here now this is going while this may look like a small range on my chart rest assured this is not a small range from the breakout point from the neckline okay of the double bottom all the way to the measured move that is a good 73 percent to the upside okay so um it's going to be a nice big chunky move however wait on the break that confirmation is what is going to really solidify this pattern before we get that break this is not a pattern okay but this is just um it's always going to be an if this then that right so uh back onto the weekly is there anything else that i wanted to cover on the weekly mm, no i mean the only other thing is that um, i mean price is still living about above the six cent region right this is the six cent region that we were holding for almost a year okay we were holding this as resistance and we have finally managed to take it out and we're still living above that so right now in the interim this is still a bullish picture okay now um this is on the weekly let's get on to that daily time frame for auto usdt see what we're doing on the daily and just look at this picture okay now i understand that we had this dump right here but what is to note is that we're still holding that daily 21 ema we have not lost it 
Okay, we have yet to lose it, and we are currently sandwiched between that 10 simple moving average and the 21 EMA, as well as that 10 kin. You can see the intersection right there right? It is a good picture right now, guys. This is not, um, we're not in bearish territory yet. Now, depending on um, where price breaks, whether we take back the 10 SMA or we break the 21 EMA to the downside, that is what is going to solidify, okay, where price moves. Are we going to head into another bullish trend or are we going down further? Okay, now um, if Ada takes back the uh, 10 SMA. I will be looking for further continuation to the upside. Possibly the first target is going to be all the way up here at around that 9 cent region. Okay, pretty much testing these highs right here. If we start closing candles above this region, I will be looking for further continuation all the way to that 0 0.097 cents. But right now, this is looking good even on the daily time frame. We have not lost the daily uptrend just yet. Okay, what is going to really change this picture and make it more bearish is if we start losing that 21 EMA. Okay, if we have a single daily candle body close underneath that 21 EMA, chances are we're coming down the first region being um, 6 cents. Okay, all the way down to possibly this Keijun here at around 6, 2 cents. Okay, now that's what I'll be looking for. And one thing I want to, you know, really bring up over here is how well auto usdt trends on the daily 21 ema every time it starts a trend it does not lose that 21 ema and every time it does lose the 21 ema it's giving you a sign that hey hey perhaps i want to you know taper off and usually look at this trend right here right every every test of the 21 ema was a buy and as soon as we lost it that was your first bearish tell okay we lost it here we got resisted at that uh, 10 simple moving average and look at the freaking capitul capitulation that followed. Um, this was what, actually I'm going to do it from the break. From the break of the, tw of the 21 EMA all the way to the bottom here, that was a 70% move to the downside. Okay, now I'm going to be looking at that 21 EMA as my first bearish tell. We start closing candles underneath that. I think this uptrend is done, at which point I will be looking for 6 cents all the way down to... Five cents. Okay, now uh, this is auto USDT, but let's go and uh, maybe drill down a little more and see, you know, what direction is this um, likely going to take? Now it's always going to be, uh, it's all probability at this point, right? Look for horizontals, look for patterns, look for bullish or bearish EMA crossovers. And the first thing I see here, guys, is how price is living over the 10 SMA as well as the 21 EMA and that Kijun. Okay, and it appears that we are both lagging here right now. If you can see what I am seeing, look at this. That is the pole. That right here is the flag. Okay, now this is on that four hour time frame and another thing I'm, I'm spotting in terms of pattern plays. Now this is going to be a potential pattern play. Okay, um, I do believe it's like a, like a channel of sorts, a falling channel. And there you go. Um, so I do believe that we do have a break of this. However, if we start closing candles underneath the 21 EMA, I think that this channel has been negated. Okay, at which point I do believe that the flag will also get negated. But as things stand right now, this is, uh, it's a good picture. It's a good picture for the bulls, okay? What level I'll be looking for Otta to take out to start, you know, possibly an uptrend on the lower time frames is this region right here. This is at around 0 0.08 cents. We start closing candles, four hour candles above this region. I will be expecting further, a further push to the upside. Um, but I want to drill down a little more, perhaps the one hour time frame. This is looking like a flag. Yeah. Look at this, guys. I think this is either a symmetrical or an ascending triangle. Looking so good. Sean is beside me and he's uh, he's like, oh my god, it's looking so good. Right, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to get an out of position for a while. What are your thoughts on this? Look at this. Perhaps we have something here. Perhaps. The chart tells you the news, and the news seems to be a main net coming up. A main net coming up. Do you hear that, guys? When is the main net? The, the launch? Or the in, release, in, rather? In a week or so. Okay, but what if it's the whole um, buy the rumor, sell the news? You buy the chart. <laughs> he's like you buy the chart for those of you who didn't hear him and uh that's that's very um that's good advice 
<laughs> but okay, so if we break up from here, guys, okay, at the very least, if we have to meet only the, the, the measured move of the symmetrical triangle, I do believe that this is a symmetrical triangle at play. Let's actually put on our um, volume notes to confirm. And yes, we have a symmetrical triangle, right? We're looking for that volume, that descending volume profile. So we have that right now. And um, if sorry, if we actually have to break to the upside, okay, the measured move will take ADA USDT all the way up to 0 0.08 cents. That is a good, what is this, 4% to the upside. I do believe, I think we're likely to have continuation from there. But what is to note is that that is only the measured move of, this, of the symmetrical triangle. Okay, if we have to meet the measured move of the entire bull flag, and I feel like this is such a textbook bull flag right now right? I just place it, say we break somewhere here, whatever. Um, I don't want to be too exact, but that will take, whoa, what do you know, guys? Weekly resistance overhead, that is going to be testing our previous highs, okay, at around these regions right here. I do believe that we're likely to get up to nine cents, okay, if we start breaking this triangle to the upside. Um, so it's a good picture right now for Ada. I mean, I don't, I don't really have much of here besides that you cannot, it's not giving you reason right now to be bearish, not yet. Okay, now this is auto USDT and that's what we want to see. We want to see that strength on auto USDT to determine whether the BTC pairing is going to be going up as well, right? So now let's get on to auto BTC and see what it is up to. And I'm right now I'm seeing a bull flag on the one hour time frame as well. Uh, this is uh, cool, but wait, let's not get ahead of ourselves over here. Let's get onto that weekly time frame. Put in those high level horizontals, right? Um, and the first thing, honestly, just by looking at the cloud, the first thing I noticed here is that we actually got rejected off that Kijun. So that was your first sort of tell. As soon as we, you know, refused to close over it, it was telling you that, hey, perhaps, you know, I want to start taking a leg back. But um, I do believe that this chart. It's not looking too shabby, not yet. Okay, it's still looking, uh, it's still very much in more bullish territory than it is in bearish territory on the weekly. Because what is to note here, guys, is that we have made a higher high on the weekly. We have a confirmed high on the weekly and a confirmed higher low on the weekly time frame. This is a bullish picture right now. Okay, now it's it's been a while since we've seen this um, for many of the altcoins. I believe Ada is not the only one that's putting in a bullish structure on the weekly time frame, but there are other coins out there that are doing something very, very similar. Okay, now uh, what is to note here is that what I was looking for actually personally, I was actually looking for Ada to close over this region right here at 870 sats, and we actually got that. Okay, only to lose it on that next week. So that was something I'm like, ah, I was so bummed out over there. I took a position, but then I had to, I had to get out of it. Okay, because my trade was negated. I, I took the position based on price closing over this line right here. Okay, we failed to get, find support on it, and I got out of the position after that. But um, as things stand on the weekly time frame. It's this is a bullish candle, okay? This weekly candle right now, although we have just started this weekly candle, so that's something to note, but so far it's looking good, okay? Now let's actually boil down to perhaps our lower time frames and see what um, price is doing there. And what do you know, guys? Okay, first of all, first of all, look at this candle. I think Sean and I went over this in um, yesterday's analysis. We did an analysis on Bitcoin and Cardano in the same video, and this is something that we brought up. This was a bullish buyback okay this wick alone was what 16 percent a six a 16 percent wick okay but um if you we just have to sort of analyze this by looking at the ichimoku cloud we have a green cloud we have a bullish tk cross we're maintaining the bullish tk cross okay and price is currently living over the cloud as well as over that 21 EMA. We are still finding support on the 21 EMA. We have not lost it, not yet. Okay, now uh, let's also put on our 10, our 10 SMA. And what do you know? It's the same thing. It's the same picture that we have on um, Auto USDT in that we have this, this daily sort of sandwich between the 10 SMA and the 21 EMA. And once again, guys, depending on which side we break, Will that be the determining factor on where ADA actually goes? Does it go towards the downside or the upside? Okay, um, right now on the daily time frame, we're, we're, we're holding that daily trend as well. So that's something to note. And um, 
oh man, like think, look at the amount of touches that we've had on the daily 21 EMA, barely any, barely, barely any. So let's actually drill down to perhaps the four hour time frame. see what we're doing there. Are we putting in anything bullish there? And the first thing I see here, guys, is perhaps another falling channel, even on Auto BTC. Okay. Definitely does look like the USD charts dictating. Yeah, yeah, most most definitely. I think the USD the USD USDT chart is looking it's looking bullish right now. It's looking extremely bullish, better than even this one, right? Um, and but look at this. I mean, we still have we have the same pattern play right here. We have a break, okay, and this looks like a bull flag as well. And if this actually meets the measured move, we're coming all the way back up here to that weekly resistance at around 869 sats. But um, I like this. This is actually looking good. I like it's it's hard to find anything bearish. Not not um, not when we're still holding that daily 21 EMA. And it's the same thing as we have on auto USDT. The first bearish tell is going to be price losing that 21 EMA to the downside. As soon as we have a, a candle body close underneath that 21 EMA, chances are we're likely to come down further, at which point I will actually be looking for price to make its way all the way down to this weekly support at 625 sats. Okay, um, that's going to be my immediate sort of uh, line, at least on that macro scale. Okay, um, so what about the 12 hour time frame? When do we close the 12 hour candle? In about an hour, 40 minutes, give or take? And as guys, as soon as we start closing candles, I want to see consecutive candle body closes over the 21 EMA. As soon as we can start doing that, I will be expecting this bearish crossover between the 21 EMA and the 10 SMA to actually turn. I'll be expecting a bullish crossover setup at, at that point. Okay, I'm looking for that 10 SMA crossing over the 21 EMA. For that, I'll be expecting price to live over that 21 EMA. I want to see it hold as support. Okay, and um, is there anything else on this chart? Sean, is there anything else that you see on this chart? No, just the USD charts looking better. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily play this on the Bitcoin chart until it takes out that weekly resistance. But that's just me being cautious. The USD chart is what's um, where I take play. So um, it's looking it's looking good, guys. Auto USDT as well as Auto BTC. Okay, it's maintaining that daily trend until and unless we lose that trend to the downside. I'm looking for candle body closes underneath the 21 EMA. Will I only really flip bearish on Auto? Okay, now with this, guys, is all I have for you. Trade safely, trade stress free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way, guys. Ciao.